For the past six months we have been interviewing startup CEOs and experts about what it's like to be a founder of your own company in 2022. Not only were we able to listen to various, inspirational life stories but we also wanted to know their best advice for new founders, or people that are still unsure about following their dream of running a business. So here are five startup founders answering the question, what advice would you give to people who want to create a startup in 2023? Bot Talk Podcast. I always thought, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, the worst thing is it doesn't work out. You've learned a lot. You've met new people. You've done something. You failed. But I mean, what does it mean? It just means, well, probably you've lost a bit of time and a bit of money. But in, in the same process, you've, you've done stuff and you've learned stuff. And I, and I always thought, you know, if, if I need to find a job, I mean, I've had a job before, so there's nothing holding me back from finding a new job if I say, okay, the startup world is not mine and I want to just be a regular employee, which is, you know, why not? Um, so I, d I don't think there's much to lose in a way. You, when you start, you, you develop your idea because you've been in an environment which pushed something, like some development. If it's university or you've been in another company or something, so you already have experience and I guess you have a job waiting for you somewhere if you want it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, why not start a startup and see how it is? And in the worst, I mean, maybe, maybe you make the discovery that the world, the startup world, which is bizarre as well in a way, is not yours and that's fine. You should be committed uh, to the idea and you... Um... From the beginning, uh, I, I think it's a, a couple of things that uh, one thing that you can be, uh, you can have a lot of fear. Same way you can have a lot of uh, expectation or uh, maybe uh, wrong expectations uh, that I, the idea maybe it's not the most important part. You should have uh, this commitment and uh, power for execution. That's uh, maybe the most important thing and the sales. You, you need to sell. It's uh, maybe one of thing that many people can forget. Uh, we, we create something amazing and it, uh, it's cool. We, we do really cool things, but uh, after all, you need to sell them and you need to uh, turn, to have your turnover, cashback and so on. For uh, the news or for an esports or uh, yeah, um, big event or, or a football match in between the matches, these shows, it's always a bit the same so um um yeah that's that's yeah we really want to grow in all these in all these um sectors advantage of the the, the way you can do sales when you have a, a um a scalable project is yeah you don't need to to do the door-to-door -door thing and the one-on-one the -on -one thing you can you can use the tools there are that they are called facebook and instagram and uh to scale and people can just go to your website discover it and so we will focus a lot on, on marketing so it's also um it's not that we're going to focus on western europe or eastern europe uh, no um uh, once we the, the SaaS product is fully uh functional yeah we can target everyone uh, it's, we will just target by 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 segment like i think the people that are making a funeral we should target them differently than the ones that are, that are creating a news uh, show yeah that was really key so uh, having somebody who does who helps you with sales uh somebody who can make a, a very a very good business plan that that can can convince a convest, uh, investor and work on marketing and um yeah marketing is is is, is key uh, i think yeah, these days or what what we did like uh, badly in the in the beginning um, is that we asked a lot of people for their opinion mm -hmm. a lot of people uh, and had a lot of meetings and calls and stuff like that most of the time it was like interesting uh, and what is good to ask them but we uh, in the beginning we didn't ask our customers and users uh, enough um, and there are a lot of experts out there um, but the real expert is always your user or your customer. Uh, and that's something we like put a lot of time into uh, talking with a lot of yeah, experts, a lot of uh, people in our network. Um, yeah, we did that too much. This was our, our beginning and uh, I think 
even if I don't know uh, or I can't remember like this uh, crazy story fuck up uh, situation, I think we, yeah, we made so many little fuck ups every day, still do, um, because it's something new. That's the definition of startup. Be mm -hmm. you, you build some, something new, uh, hasn't been done before. Um, so you will make uh, failures, fuck ups, or if you think about positive, uh, it's like learning, yeah, learning. Yeah, yeah. never ending story of Never learning. ending story, yeah. Find an area where there's not too much competition, preferably none. Uh, that's where you uh, have to be. Um, and, and so we've, we've luckily with uh, our financing model was uh, co-creation. 50% uh, of our development over the years, 14 million in total, uh, has been funded by lead customers. So obviously, sizable customers that have a budget for uh, um, uh, procuring uh, bespoke development. Um, uh, we manage the intellectual property that it would be vested in our company. And then here comes the trick. Uh, we're in Europe, Andre. We can match that with funds coming from uh, Stadium Horizon 2020, Creative Europe, all these beautiful instruments which uh, United States companies, uh, they, they, I mean, they just have to do it with uh, equity. Our largest competitor uh, was uh, $250 million funded, imagine. Uh, wow, they crazy. Were, they were sold last year to Adobe. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think they did a great job. Now, in Europe, I think we don't need to um, uh, pursue the same strategy. That would be stupid because we don't have access to those volumes of capital. So we have to be smarter and behave differently. And I think the key is um, go to your customer, be transparent. Early adopters will like it if they can enter in conversation with uh, what will be in the roadmap. So there's our approach. That's, that's our secret weapon.